Well, billions of dollars in COVID relief are still up in the air after President Trump's demand for bigger benefits to Americans. Now, here's what we know right now. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants to approve an increase in direct payments by today, giving people $2,000 instead of 600 individually. But Republican leaders in the House would have to agree to that. At this point, it's unclear what GOP lawmakers are going to do. There have been a lot of questions circulating about where the results and the rest of this relief bill's $900 billion is actually going. So this morning, Alan Carter is bringing you the answers. Well, it has been widely reported that that stimulus bill is over 5,500 pages long. And so we wanted to see, as it stands today, where exactly is that $900 billion going? Well, about two thirds of it goes towards stimulus payments and small business relief, but that leaves nearly $300 billion going elsewhere. 82 billion for schools, for things like helping districts expand remote learning and emergency financial aid grants. 69 billion is for public health, including vaccinations and testing. 45 billion goes toward public transportation. 35 for clean energy research. Another 25 billion is for rental assistance. Then you get into the weeds. There's money set aside for two new Smithsonian museums. $15 billion in relief specifically for live venues and theaters. Two billion is going toward the new Space Force. There's an anti-doping program for horse racing and about 35 million is for sexual abstinence programs. So the question now is, will any of this change? The president has called for larger payouts for citizens, so it's unclear if he'll sign the bill as is or veto, of course, with support from both Democrats and Republicans, Congress would have override power. All right, well, at this point, we just don't know if Congress will approve a larger stimulus check for Americans. And if you do have any questions about your direct payments, like how much money your family can get under the current plan, just text the word CHECK, that's C-H-E-C-K, to the number at the bottom of your screen. Now to some major updates in the effort to vaccinate our nation's health care workers. We've learned the Moderna vaccine, uh, the Moderna version of the COVID vaccine, is arriving at Indiana hospitals as we speak. It's happening just in time. Some were starting to run out of the Pfizer vaccine after giving out tens of thousands of doses over the last week. Also, we're learning the Trump administration is expected to buy 100 million more doses of Pfizer's vaccine. The company is going to be delivering at least 70 million doses by the end of June, and the rest should arrive no later than July 31st. In other COVID news, the state is reporting another 4,700 cases and regrettably 62 new deaths and 46,000 more tests. Right now, the state positivity rate is around 12%, but remember, the state is changing the way it calculates positivity. And a new study suggests that wearing a mask may not be enough to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Researchers tested how five different types of mask materials protected against droplets from coughs and sneezes. They found while they greatly reduced the number of droplets spread at distances of less than six feet, enough droplets made it through the materials to cause illness. Lastly, the coordinator of the White House Coronavirus Task, For Task Force plans to retire. Dr. Deborah Bricks says she'll help the transition to the Biden administration, but after that, she is stepping down. In an interview with Newsy, she says the experience has put too much strain on her family. Burks was actually recently criticized for gathering for with extended family over the Thanksgiving holiday.